morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, wherever you are, um, good day to you. So welcome to um, another HTML, HTML class. Um, today we're going to be starting off with our very first uh, project. Let, let me say primitive project. Let me say, well, we're going to be growing from nothing to to everything you understand so like i always say we move step by step you understand so this is gonna be our first uh say should i call it project well let's 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 call it project so we're gonna be having something like this say let's assume this is our uh web page the body of our website let's assume this is the body of our website so we're gonna be having our image here and beside it, uh, we should be having maybe a description of ourselves or something, any write-up. We should be beside our image. Then, of course, uh, we should have an horizontal rule. Then we should have, uh, maybe we're going to be creating a table. I think I didn't teach you table. So, yeah, I'll be uh, creating a table that we, um, that we specify some, we'll specify some, table data in it you understand so you know what the concept is now so now um then we'll be having yeah we'll be having say a kind of a uh a message me a message me link where if a user clicks it or a visitor your website visitor clicks it it will now um the, the, the person can send you message via you know via its own email to you you understand so we're gonna be replicating something like this you understand for a start you know so because we are using only html so there's no professional thing here but we just want to have a concept of what we can do with html so we're gonna be having two um project this very one very primitive then the one after this is so creative uh that will be very creative but this one it's a bit creative though but we're just trying to you know see what we can do with just only html no css i don't want to use this uh, css i want to be using html you understand so by the time we now get to css section then i'll be using css with html but now let me use html you understand in our next uh, project it will be much more better than this much more creative than this but let's start from from the very first one that let me see the primitive one you understand so uh, from this project i'm going to be um giving you a task okay from this project after i might have done what we uh lead you to a point where you can stand strong you understand on this project i mean so are we what i will do is to okay Give you an assignment on it then i will ask you to submit this is how you submit your assignment when you give an assignment when, when you are given an assignment yeah, for now until we get to the um until we get to uh the the um stage where we will be specializing you understand we wants to go for back end wants to go for full stack wants to go for blockchain and stuff you understand so at this very beginning we're gonna be uh, submitting our assignment in the group, the main, uh, the main group, the main Telegram group, so that everybody you see. This is how you do it. You you write your full name. You understand? Your assignment must carry your full name and your email. You write it, caption it on your assignment, then you post it. You understand? You might not put your email. Okay, you might just post it send your email no post it with your email there's you can just create a dummy email or just your email your full name your email you understand so you can just post it on the uh or just your full name don't worry your full name your mobile number just uh i don't even want your mobile number just your full name you understand i will get the remaining or well any other information from your team leader so you just create your full name, you caption it on your uh, project, uh, your task, and you submit it on the general group on Telegram. Then 
I will pick it up from there. So you don't need to just say my assignment, blah, 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 blah. You understand? You know what to do from there. So um, right now, let's move to, let's create a project. Let's start from opening a new window on VS Code. A new window on VS Code. I'll try and zoom out a bit so that you can have a very good visual. So let me zoom out. Okay, before that, okay, let me zoom out so that I can be doing everything in your pre very presence. Okay, uh, I hope you can see this very clearly. So the first thing to do is to open a folder. Whenever you are creating a project, the first thing to do on VS Code is what? Open a folder. You create a folder. It will take you to this place. You just create. You right click. Then you create new folder. Let's say uh, my profile uh, website. Let's call, let's call it my profile website. My my profile website. Say my underscore profile website. Let's call it like that. So let's uh, let's create it and select folder. So it will create a folder. So it has taken me to this folder. So now after creating a folder, look at this from this tree here. Let me close this. Let me close this. From this tree here, this tree here, you click on it. It will bring, it will give me a drop down where I can fill in an information, of course. So you maybe I want to call mine, say in the, you can call it anything, but your extension must be um, the same. She understand by default it must be the same so but your finding should can be peculiar to you it can be unique to you you understand but um the extension of course you normally know that is normally dot html you understand so every um, language every language has its own what extension you understand so in this case um, html is what dot html css is dot css and javascript is dot uh is just js so every every uh, other language is to have uh extension so um let's see let me call i want to call mine index but html you can call your own and also i have told you i've been issued i ignore this dj in your own case uh it will show html you understand the reason why it's showing dj because i don't know the extension i've used you know, I've always been creating, you know, I'm a Django major. So most of the program, uh, project that I built on Django is, as you know, I don't know the extension that I'll check over it and, you know, see to removing it anyways. So um, I've created the index.html. So the next thing for me to do is to um, bring up my boilerplate. For you, I've always told you, always stick to typing it because me, I'm just, I've known it already. So... There's no need for me to be typing, but the more you type, the more you strengthen your fingers, you know. And um, of course, it sticks. I don't need this comment. You understand? Uh, we're not using... Okay, I don't need this. Uh, I don't need this uh, JavaScript. We're not using JavaScript. So, I don't need this. So, now, <clears throat> let me once again... Uh, let me once again explain each of these things because I won't go back to all these things again, you know. So, because I won't go back to all these things, it's not a bad idea if I explain everything again here. So, because I told you, you know, I promise you that as we start to build projects, I'll be explaining as I'm, as we are doing something, as we are make, uh, building project. Let me zoom out a bit. So, yes, as we are building project. Uh, I will be explaining. Let me collapse this. Yes, I will be explaining. I will be explaining each of these things. So um, I think it is not uh, it is not a bad idea if I try to explain it again. So yeah, is it this doc type? This thing here, doc type. Uh, this is a declaration it's just a kind of a declaration that tells the browser that the document is what html5 document you understand this doc type doc type html 
it's a declaration that tells the browser that a document is what an html5 document you can write down, down write that down then we have um, this html element here this html element is of course you know the root element of an html document you understand that encapsulates all other elements by encapsulation i mean it is housing all other elements are inside of it head body of course so that's what i mean by encapsulate you understand if i'm using words that you might not be uh, um, you might not be acquainted or you, have, you might not be familiar with please let me know so that i can uh, we can have uh, we, can, we can all understand ourselves so that is that about the html uh, element html element so then we have the head this head here this one this head is just a uh, is a section uh that contains the metadata metadata and links to external resources used by the uh, html document it usually includes information such as uh such as character encoding which is this it includes information character encoding that is set to what utf8 you understand and of course it also has um it also has the page title which is this it has this page title which is this then it has uh, uh, the external style sheet which is uh, which is which is this and of course not sometimes it normally comes uh with say scripts sometimes it depends on where you want to put your script some people prefer to put their script by mean script is when you want to attach your javascript some people prefer to put it at the head within the head region some people prefer to put it uh beneath the that is after all your codes have been written at the very bottom you understand so it doesn't matter to me i feel it doesn't matter so the let me explain i've not really explained this character encoding this this cassette because i just let me let me let me give a, a thorough explanation of it this thing yeah this character this utf8 this character encoding specify the character encoding for the document which is set to utf8 you understand so what it does is it allows it is allowing it to support allowing uh it's to support various characters and symbols so it's allowing your uh your html codes or your web page to uh to accept various uh, uh to accept uh i call it something i'm trying to remember okay it, to accept various characters and symbols you understand then uh this one here this one here this meta http equiv x u a compatible content blah 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 you understand this one here what it does is it's a meta tag uh, it's a meta tag too that sets um, the browser to use the latest rendering engine you understand it sets the browser to use the what the latest rendering 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 engine ensuring compatibility with modern web standards that is what it does then uh we have of course I, I you know the title page i don't have to explain that of course you know that is where you put the title of your page you know there are some things that naturally you would have known what it does and so on. this is just a, it sets the title of the web page which is displayed in the browser's title bar or tab i'll show you where it is where, where it is normally seen then um then we have the here we have the uh description what this is is that this meta tag here provides a brief description of the web page this one here it provides uh, the brief description of the web page content uh, currently i'm setting it to empty but it's common to fill this with a brief summary of the page you can just explain you can do that uh, you can do that you just here explain what the uh, website is all about okay it's about my my profile page blah 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 and stuff then um this one here this viewport uh, this viewport here you see that meta is also a meta tag by seeing meta element here you know that is a meta tag 
the name is set to viewport the content is set to width device minus width blah 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 now what it does is this meta tag defines how the web page should be displayed on different devices whenever you see the word, or you hear the word viewport it means size of a screen you understand it's talking about the size of a screen you understand so uh the, uh, the viewport uh, uh defines the meta tag the viewport the, the sorry the meta tag of viewport defines uh, how the web page should be displayed on different devices so in this case it is set it sets the viewport weight to to device width i will explain it why it is so and set the what initial zoom level to one now it said it's the initial scale which is the initial zoom level to one so by default if you if your website is loaded it will what if you set to what initial zoom up um to one then you see this thing here this width equals what device width now what i'm saying here is that the screen size the web page should what fit into whatever whatever screen size that is being used on you understand so that is um, what it does that is that is the meaning of this line here so of course um this link is what linking this style sheet that is css so right now we're not using css so uh, i'm not uh, filling any um reference i'm not making any hypertext reference here so so that is that so now uh we're gonna be starting off let when we are to start now uh i would want you to concentrate and listen as i explain you understand it is important that you listen as i explain now if you go back and see the sketch that we that i drew initially we're talking about how to we are saying okay we will create a web in our let's assume this is a website here let's assume this screen here is a website we want our uh image to be here the right top beside the image and of course we need uh a line and of course uh, then a table so i'll tell us how to use the table so the first thing to do is what we need an element what kind of element do we do we need we need an image uh an image element an image tag of course but before i do that before i do that okay let me create an image tag let me create an image tag we need an image tag of course the image tag should reference uh a source she understand where is your image tag coming from you could you could it could come from a web uh, page source you understand it will come from your own local source but the best one is for you to come from your local source if for example you are putting the source and you are linking the um maybe you are putting a link of your picture that is in twitter you understand maybe an image from twitter you are putting the link here as a source um whenever twitter goes down your image will go down you understand so it, it, the best bet is for you to have your um your source it's the best bet is to have your source come from what um your uh your 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 uh part in the that is the part in your website you understand your project it should come from your local project i mean your project itself she understand so it should not be coming from external source i mean when whenever you are trying to render an image on the body of the website you understand so um now we need a source how do we have a source how do we get a source you understand how do we get a source how do we get a source let's say of course we have created an image tag so we need a source how do we create, get the source the best thing to do here is to uh let me click here no sorry let me click here and create uh i need a folder i need to create a folder um let's mm -hmm. 
I need to create a folder. Look at how you come to this tree. That is this um two files here, file and folder. You click on it to bring out is bring back the tree. This left left hand side tree. Click on these three dots. You understand? You will see new folder. Click on new folder. Uh, you can call your folder anything, but I want to call mine image. You understand? Image. Now you will see that this image, this image folder, is on the same line with this index.html, which means they are on the same hierarchical level. It is called hierarchical level. You see this 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 image here. Look at the email icon. Is on the same line with this icon, same but they are in the same parts. She understand. So, um, which means they are of the same what? They have the same hierarchical um, level. So, you click on this image, this image folder. So we should have a file there. You understand? So how do we get a file? Maybe you go to your local drive. You can go to your if you don't if you are using your a mobile device you can just link you don't need to create a, an, a, a, a folder or if you can create a folder sure fine with your phone then um bring in an image to the folder so let me look for an image let me look for an image in my folder um you can of course your image don't put any other image put your image put your image let me see uh, sorry let me see okay let me see my image mm. okay i think this is me this is me uh, this is me so you can just drag the image here and drop you can drag the image and drop you understand it's in there so you can just close so so now i'm having a source i have what mimi dot uh, let me rename this to make it um, sensible let me rename it to say me. me you understand so ah oh, sorry let me see properly so now we have me.jpg where is me.jpg me.jpg is inside of image folder so to get a source to, to to make reference to the source what do we need we need what we need to first specify the um the the directory to the uh, uh, to the me.jpg directory means uh uh a kind of route to a particular uh, item she understand so now to direct the directory to the me.jpg is what image because we first of all meet image this image here before you meet this thing you understand you see that this me.jpg is not on the same uh it's not on the same it's not having the same hierarchical level with what uh with index.html because it's inside of what image folder so let's say image first of all reference image then inside image we have what me dot what jpeg you understand we have me dot jpeg so let's see let's see let's write um uh, let's write some things say let's write h2 let me say h2 h2 H2. So inside the H2, what do we have there? What should we have? Let's say, uh, let's say, hi, my name, my name is Tintin. My name is Tintin. You understand? Uh, I think we need the Peter. Let me collapse this. Let me collapse this. We need a p tag. Uh, sorry. We need to close it. Of course, p tag is not a self-closing tag. So, 
so after this we should create something like say uh let me say occupation occupation let me say occupation uh what occupation let me see software uh engineering engineering um, let me copy these so that i can and for you you should be typing please so, but i just don't want you to watch me um typing all long and long and long like that so here we have this i think i need uh, how many let's say let's create four let's create another one yes so yeah i say let me say country let me say yeah country let me say country um yeah let's say um nigeria for example you can put kenya you can put wherever you're from um yeah let me say uh location yeah location um let me say yeah let me say lagos Lagos. Then um, what again? Okay, what again can I can I have? Uh, mm, let me see favorite team. Let me see favorite team. Favorite team. Mind the spelling of favorite here. You will see that, and there is no British spelling. You understand? Uh, well you could you could because it's not uh it's just a simple text inside par par paragraph tab but be careful whenever you're writing uh your uh be careful of using british english in white coding you know so for some reasons why i don't know it's not uh it's it's not mainly used as um, the acceptable language in, in white coding so let me see if you write team let me let me see favorite team my favorite team of course is Barcelona Barcelona uh let me create one more let me create one more let me say uh favorite uh, favorite players let's say favorite players my favorite players are uh, Pedri, um, Gavi, Pedri, Gavi, Araujo, Araujo, say Fari, and uh, Baldi, yes, Baldi, Baldi, these are my favorite player. For example so let me bring it back so that you can see all the text i've written so let me bring them back one step at a time so do these two uh, then of course let me create uh we also need an hr okay let's see what we have let's see what we have done you understand let's see what we have done uh i don't want to go live let me you can go live if you want to go but let me just um okay let me go live yes look at this is what it gave us you understand but is this what we want no this is not what we want what do we want we want all these tests here to come here and of course this image is too large you understand i don't want this background i, I just want it let, let's be creative with this image with our image let's be creative with our image so now what are we going to do yeah we're going to we want this test to come to this side and we want this image 
you know you will see shadow you will see the background is not actually blending with uh with the body of the web page um of course the uh the the ties is showing and all stuff so how can we be creative with this thing so that we can we can make the background to build to be blend or we can blend the background with um, the body of the web page and make everything looks very creative let's see what we can do of course this size is too big it's too enormous so let's see what we can do um by that let's go to let's go to let me create let's go to um go to google remove background remove background remove background so okay go to remove www.remove.bg which is here so click on it yes so they ask us to what upload an image so let me upload the image so you can just drag and drop the image let's drag and drop it so that it can remove the background for us yes i think this is cool so uh uh let's download it so now we are downloading it let's open it this is what we have okay no problem uh let me close it let me close it so let me open this uh, is on my download i think is yeah let me see okay let me go back to our web page um let me open the file tree um okay let me open this let me bring this to this side this is it let me drag it down to inside image i want to drop it inside image you will see that the uh, the, the file tree changed or uh, changed color the moment i i try to drag the uh, image down there you see so make sure you are you are putting it in inside image so you see that it's inside image and it's on the same hierarchical level with uh, this you will see you understand showing it inside image so let me rename it so that um i will remove excessive words that is added to it you know it can be pain in the ass file for um uh, typing 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 like that so let me remove let me rename it to say uh rmbg that is uh, remove background but pmg yes you can rename it anything you wish but i just for for reference purpose that was why i feel that um, i should remove to so, rmbg.png okay so it's changed from jpeg to png so let's say where we have rmbg rmbg remove background dot png it's no longer jpeg png so the, that is the extension now so let's see what we have well, let's see what we have let's see what we have sorry let's see what we have okay okay i think this is this is uh pretty cool the, the the background is now blend with um it's now having they are now having the same background it's make is looking somewhat fine now a bit but um yet we still don't have this test here okay we are coming to that another thing i observe is that this this image is too large it's too big it's taking um too much spaces uh and it's gonna be bringing down our uh content okay what do we do here let's try to reduce let's try to introduce some um some attributes within the element so as to reduce the size of this uh this this image so how do we reduce that let's go we can see let's go there uh, let's reduce it um let's say uh, i want to give it the uh let's say okay okay we have this so let's give it um say a width a width of 
let's give it a width of say 150 or let, let's try 170 or let's try 190 sorry 190 and um, let's give it a height of say 200 all right equals say 200 and let's see what it will give to us uh mm, too small but i don't look this way i don't look this way okay let's let's create another let's try to see what we can do let's say okay let's say let's reduce the width to say okay let's try 150 and see if it should be, it should be fine by now let's try one let's try this mm, i think i think i like this i think i like this not too fat not too short it's too fat i like this so now what is next our next task is to take this image and put it by this side how do we do that how do we do that this this i mean i said this image this content here yeah? i want to put it by this side how do we do that um i think we should be able to do that let's say okay i think that we, we can we can use naturally or normally what would have been best to use is uh css but because i just want to restrict everything to html i don't want to use css at all in any way I, won't, I don't want to be tempted to use css because i want to you know whatsoever we are doing we should do it uh, I, I just want you to have a knowledge of html by the time we get to css the knowledge of css then we can start combining css and html by the time we get to javascript you have you have had the knowledge of javascript we combine she understand and stop and stop and stop and stop like that so i don't want to use I want to also, I just want to be restricting ourselves to wherever we are, you know, whatsoever we, we are we are we are learning, we should restrict our uh, whatsoever thing practical to well to 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 the modules we are handling. So that is just that. So let me see. I would have used CSS, I would have used another thing too, but I, I think the simplest fix for this is to align, I put an attribute here the attribute of align so if we try to align the image to the left if we try to align the image to the left uh, this test will come it will go up this content here we go up and we so first because it has aligned the image to the left so by aligning the image to the left this test will now give it will give in it will give way for this test to come up and of course stay by the you understand but because it is not aligned to the left now you might be seeing it by the left hand side but it is not aligned there by default it's not aligned there but you are just seeing it there but the moment we um the moment we uh we force it to align to the left because it is not aligned to the left that's why we have this test uh underneath it but the moment we force it to align to the left by passing in um some attributes to the to the element to the image element it will now okay the browser and the body the 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 the, the, the browser will now recognize or we now understand that yes uh, image element is strictly restricted to the what um to aligned to the left side of the web page so let's try that and see how it is working in practical so by saying align left you understand and let's see uh what it has given to us yes we have it and that is it that is what we want i think this is better now this is uh, what we want so uh another thing is um okay we want let me see what what is our next target okay we have our test we have our image we have our test we have our content now we need a line we kind of we have to divide the website into two to create a line so let's do that let's do that quickly Let's do that. We have achieved the second. So 
um, the first and second stage. So um, now we need to uh, we need to align to. Let me see. Uh, sorry. We need to create, um, of course, an HR, an horizontal root element. HR. You understand? By creating an HR, it will it will create what? Uh, it will it will create a kind of rule. But if, let, let, let's do something. Let's give it a space before uh, we create an HR. Let's give it a, a space. You understand? Maybe one more space. You know. Maybe one more space. Then let's create an HR. Yes, an horizontal rule. So we give it a line break, another line break. So we give it an horizontal rule. So I think um, that should. Then um, let's see how that is working in practical. Let's see how that is working in practical. Yes, fine. I think um, this is okay like this. I think this is okay. So it's getting to what we want okay now let's um try to let's try to create a table you know i told us that we are going to have something like this and to have is to have a content like this we need to use what a table element of course so let's see how we can use that and of course i've not taught you how to use table elements so Today you will see it in, in practical, and of course, um, that is the best way to understand how to use what table element. So let's see. Let's say we have um, for you to have a table element, you must have, first of all um, create. Okay, let me create a line break before the table element. Yes, you understand so that it can give there can be space between the horizontal rule. And the table element so let's create a table element let's say uh, to create a table element you first of all need to create what uh the element table you understand you create what element table um, table of course it's not a self-closing tag sorry excuse me it's not a self-closing tag so after creating it you can put a space here of course um, for every table, there must be um, a table row. And of course, for every table row, there must be a table head. I will explain that to you. I will explain that to you. I will explain that to you. Let me see how best I can explain to you. Um, okay, let me first of all create it so that you will see uh, what I'm saying in practical. Let's create, uh, let me create a table row. Let me create a TR. Let me create a TR. Um, let me close it. Okay, let me just, let me create another TR. Just by closing it, let me close the TR. Inside the TR, let me have, let me, yeah, I will now have to create um, a table head. Table head th um, th say okay. I'm okay. Th okay. Th um okay because I need more than th. You understand. Let me say I need like three ch under this. Let me say one. Let me control copy, control C. For you, I've always told you to always type. You understand? Let me say. Um, let me say one. Okay. Let me create another one. You understand? So here we have. Okay. Before. Let me create another t uh, let me create another um th i mean t r i will explain what that is so that you will have uh, a good understanding of it uh sorry t 
tr inside the tr we have uh, inside the tr we have what um say td we have td inside the tr we have what td so inside the td now i need three td too as well because i have um three th control c control v control v now this is a table and of course the table is uh, is what encapsulating um table tr and another tr you understand now tr means table row t ed means th means table head you understand for every row there must be a head and for every head there must be what a data now this is how this is what it what i mean let me go let me explain let me explain what what it means uh let me explain what it means let me use a cleaner let me clean this off so that i can explain what it means so this is it no let me use this this is a table This is a table you understand and let's say this is a table this is a row any horizontal um, thing is what a row this is another row this is another row you understand and for all the rows you understand there must be what table head you understand now the table head this is the table she understand the table roll is this is this uh, this sorry this you understand and for every table row there must be what a table head which will be here that is the heading like excel like you have in excel the heading you understand now for every head they must have what within the uh within the uh, another table row this is you know this is a first table row having what the heading she understand the header table header she understand table head i mean now another table row is will be having what the data table data table data you understand so invariably we can have sorry invariably we can have uh we can have table head she understand table head table data she understand like that like that like that and that is how uh, that is what it means by uh table head table row and table data the role is just this thing that goes like this 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 space this container that will contain content the tr t i mean the table this is the tr that goes like this that is the space you fill in some things the t head is the head heading that is the title of she understand the title of say yeah you want to have uh level let's say uh, level university level and here you want to have gpa she understand so inside here is where you will fill those ones those are what table head table head then the the data that is what will be under okay now like under le level we can say we have year one year two year three those are what table data um gpa 4.1 4. Point blah blah all those things those are what table data you understand so that is the that is the difference um, that is the difference i hope uh, you understand so here we can have say yeah we can have say um, we can have technology understand technology you understand here we can have say uh proficiency here we can have proficiency and here we can have say experience here we can have experience you understand here uh, we can have say uh of course the technology we are currently using is what html and here uh 
what is the what is the uh the, the the proficiency let's say five star five star or five rating five rating and use lower case five ratings uh and here experience let's say 10 years of course 10 years so that is that let's see let's see what is um how it is working in practical so that we can know what and what to amend okay i think i think this is what it has given to us so far so now you will see that this thing is coming together is is uh just opposing as in getting closer to together which is not a uh, uh, ideal somewhat ideal so what do we do here what do we do here we need to put space in between technology proficiency and what experience what do we do let's see what we can do let's see what we can do so what we can do is let's say we can have um, we can have uh on the on the ah, what, 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 i don't want to use css i won't be tempted okay let me see let me give it let me give the table uh a border that is it let me give it an attribute let me say uh the table should have a border border of um, say a border of say one Let me say what I would say one mm, cell spacing cell spacing say um, zero cell spacing say zero uh, let me say cell padding cell padding say What's the up ID? Let me see zero. Let me see zero. Let's try zero. Um, let me say wheat. Um, let me give it a um, wheat to be say. Let me give it four hundred. Okay. Let me use a wall drop so that uh, Order up so that you come on a new line. Yes. So um let me say height. Let me give it a height of say um, let me give it a height of uh what so okay. Let's see what this will give us. Let's see what this will give us. Let's see. Mm, I think this is what it gave us. Uh, it gave us this. Uh, okay, 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 uh, okay. It gave us this. When I'm still seeing some ball, I will, uh, let's see how you will. Okay, let me not say what what will happen after a bit. At least this is what we want. Uh, it's giving us a, um, the table and the of course now. I made mention of some attributes here. I expect you to ask what are those attributes. Anyways, if I were your shoe too, I will ask. And I believe some of you might be wondering, what am I saying? What is this? What is what are these attributes? Well, these are just say um, normal um, attribute that you can give to table. You can always browse about them. It's not everything that um it's not I, I can't be saying everything verbatim 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 i expect you to also have um to also um uh to also try to um say try to try to um uh, try to you know find out about something you know 
try to find out about information you know because as a learner you don't rely 100 percent on the instructor at least what makes you a good learner is the ability to find out about information to you know to gather information be creative and stuff that's how you learn fast and that's how you case in all your uh, endeavor so let me quickly explain uh let me explain the table okay i've explained the table i said the table creates an element to display information in a tabular uh, format and of course uh the tr like i said the tr defines just the table row and the TA defines um, table header cells and uh, the table has three columns and these header cells represent the heading of each column like i said so uh of course uh those are what i expect you to to understand but i okay let me see let me see let me see you um let me see how to let me see how to uh, explain them in a very simple format let me see um um i'm coming i want to i want to ex i'm looking for the simplest word to use to um okay now this is it let me explain it let me let me go back to it so this border now yeah this border this border is like is the attribute that sets the width this one here this this one here it is the attribute that sets the width of the borders around the table and itself so it takes a numerical value which is this one you know that specifies the border width in pixels you understand so this one is specifying it in pixels for example um uh, you can have zero pixel you can have you understand so this one pixel it will create a thin border if you let me show you this thin border here yeah? it will create a thin border you understand a thin border while uh while uh, if i set it to zero let me let's set it to zero and let's see what it will do let's set it to zero it will remove the border by setting it to zero it will remove the border but by setting it to one by setting it to one it what it gives it what a thin border she understand so that's what it does so uh then the cell 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 padding uh cell padding let me first of all explain the cell spacing the cell spacing is like an attribute that cell that sets spacing between the cells in the table you know it's it makes it um to be well formatted readable and stuff do you understand so it takes a numerical value representing the spacing of the cell of course it takes it can take any uh, any value it takes let, let's change it to one okay i'll change all of them to one to see um, how it is working in practical then let me quickly before i do that let me explain the cell padding what the cell padding does is the the cell padding is an attribute that set um padding uh, that is the space between the cell content and the cell border so it takes a numerical value to representing the pa uh, padding in pixel so let me set let me set it to one let me set it two to one. Let's see uh, what it is doing in practical. You understand? Now, take a look at it. You will see that the cell spacing is what there's a space in inside of each of the um, lines. You understand? So that is just it. So that is just it. That is just it. So you you notice the changes there so that is that then let me control z so um i undo what i have just done then the width um the width here this one this width here uh is an attribute that said the width of the table so you understand you can specify the width using a numerical value too which is why i put 400 uh 
where well, well, I equated it to 400 and the height, or you, or you could also be in percentage, you know, by 400, I mean 100%, you understand? So it could be in 100%, it could be 400. So to make it fill the available space. So then the height, what the height is, does is to what? The height, what it does is to, uh, it's like an attribute that sets the height of the table, similar to, it's, it does something similar to width attribute. So you can specify the height using what a numerical value or a percentage as well. So um, that is that. That is that on the attribute. Then um, the next on our task is I said we should create a link uh, that we that we make a user to um, to send us a message or if a visitor of our website to send us a message if the person is satisfied with our profile and wants to say okay i need a software engineer i want to give you a job and stuff and stuff and stuff like that so uh what we do is we need uh an email reference in here you know we've done different kind of referencing we've done um external link referencing and all stuff and all those things so now we want to do an email referencing we've not done that so we use an anchor tab too for that so let's say um we need here let me create an anchor tag say i can just um let me create a line break to give it a space understand um let me give it an hr to give it a line uh let me give it another um, line break to make it to see how it is working in practical so let's say uh, we have an anchor tag, uh, an anchor tag. Let's say, let me say, an anchor tag that will reference href. Uh, yeah, because we are referencing uh, an email. You understand? We are referencing an email. We're trying. To, I mean, we are linking an email. So we can say we we, we are going to say mail to uh, mail to say. You can put your email there. I'm going to put say uh, Timson at you understand at technocrowd.com technocrowd.com you understand so I can say I can I can stop there I can put an attribute say let me let me create this and say um, subject, you know. By doing this, I want to create subject. You understand? So by doing this, it will create a subject of the email. You understand? Feedback. Let me call it um, feedback. Let me say feedback and uh, body. Feedback and what? And say body feedback body understand so equals to what message understand so uh, let me see let me say send feedback let me say send feedback um of course let's close our anchor tag you understand so if ah sorry it's inside our table it shouldn't be inside our table sorry it's inside our table it should be okay I'm coming it should be after our table sorry that's an error so it is it should be out after our table outside of our table so let's see how this is working in practical yes um this is what we want this is what we want so by clicking here it will take us to email blah 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 
okay enter your email so you click on either you go through windows email or you go through google chrome email so you'll be able to send email to um this you can try it and it will work now i want to give you a task the task is this you will see that the task i'm giving you is this you will see that this html uh this html here that is the, the uh, table data i mean the data in the table yeah the td element or the td content is not aligning with this table header she understand look at this this five rating two is not an aligning this two is not aligning so i want you to find that find that information about uh, how to do it i want you to make it align make this two align and make this two align that's the task i'm giving you i told you how to submit it you understand i've told you how to submit the assignment then another assignment is this you see this thing here i want you to fill this with another write-up generic write-up or anything that you that is that you feel like putting here but all this information that i've provided here i want you to create another uh file inside your um uh, html um uh, file html document inside your html project i want to create another file called about page you understand so you are creating an about page so about.html maybe you can call it that then this uh this send feedbacks can be i want you to create uh i want you to create it on that to create contact me you understand create a contact me page instead of it showing feedback let it show what contact me and don't render it like this you understand contact me page that i want you to give is though it's deprecated for you to put um they don't do it you know don't wear those days that they the, the color um table and all those things is deprecated whenever you hear the word deprecated in uh, any technology it means it is no longer in use she understand so it's not something that they use but it is not bad if you can do it just for knowing sake and you know just for a uh, crude creativity and stuff so make i want you to change the color of this the background of this table only this table and let's see submit the assignment on the listing so next last our next project will be much more better than this but at least uh we we are getting to have ideas of how uh, things are being done when it comes to building website or building any web page so um since you're having a day and that is what gladdens me she understand that is my joy and i believe you understood every bit of what i said please if you can't understand please try to watch back or try to document every details write down and put down notes you understand um i will talk to the this thing so as for you to start having your test books on html i don't know if you have your test books on html if not um please let me know either in discord or telegram so i will instruct um the person in charge of test books to send the test books down to you you understand so um um thank you very much for um, sticking around thank you very much for being patient with us um, thank you very much for attending this lecture and god bless you if you have any question of course you have um, you have a comment section you can just uh you can just ask me the question in the comment section or you cast me in discord you understand you can as well if you like this video you can as well you know give us a good comment you know hit a like and, and stop so that our videos can go viral and, and all that thank you very much and god bless you